On several occasions on the comment section, I have been asked to talk about cloves. Cloves water? Should I drink clove water? Should I use clove water to wash my vagina? Is clove water healthy for my vagina? So these are the questions I got that prompted me to make this video about cloves. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about the health benefits of clothes, the do's and don'ts of clothes. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be talking about cloves. What is this cloves that we keep hearing about? Clove is a versatile spice that gives your food that aroma and flavor. And guess what? Outside the aroma and flavor it gives to your food, it also has a lot of health benefits packed in it. Clove is a notable ingredient in the Ayurveda and Chinese traditional medicine. So when you're trying to stock up your spice rank, don't forget to include clove. But today, I'm going to be sharing you the various benefits of putting cloves in your food. So the first one I have to share with you about clove is its antimicrobial property. Antimicrobial property. What do I mean by that? When I say antimicrobial properties, it simply means that anti fighting against micro microorganisms. This could be bacteria. This could be virus. This could be candida. This could be parasite. So clove has these antimicrobial properties. So for people that keep sending me DMs saying that, oh, they heard about clove water, they heard about cloves, and they've been using it, they've been taking cloves water, and they found out that they, um, the infection they were having, the engine they were having, they no longer experienced that. It could be as a result of these antimicrobial properties in clove that is causing that effect. But at the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you the don'ts of Cloves. Then that takes us to the second benefit of using cloves in your diet. The second health benefit of cloves I want to share with you is that it provides you with some important nutrients. Cloves contains fiber, it contains minerals, and it also contains vitamin. Why adding a whole cloves or grounded cloves to your diet to add that flavor? It is also providing some important nutrients to you. So one teaspoon of grounded cloves contains fiber, contains carbs, contains 55% of your daily value for manganese. And manganese is very important for brain function and also for bone development. It also contains 2% of your daily value of potassium. That is one teaspoon of what of grounded Close. So you can see that outside adding flavor and aroma to your diet, to your food, cloves is important because it provides some essential nutrients for you. The third benefit of cloves is that it is high in antioxidants. Yes, clove is found to contain a compound known as eugenol. So this eugenol has been found to be a natural source of antioxidants. In fact, a test study found that eugenol stopped oxidative damage caused by free radicals five times more effectively than vitamin E. You can see outside the aroma and the flavor it adds to your food, it also acts as an antioxidant. And you know what an antioxidant is? If you don't know what antioxidant is, just drop on the comment section and I'm ready to answer you. The fourth benefit of cloves is that it may help to prevent cancer. It may help to protect you against cancer. Let me tell you what happened. A test tube study used clove extracts and they found out that this clove extract helped stop the growth of tumors and promoted cell death 
in cancer cells. However, these studies use high concentrates of clove extract. That is to show that excessive dose or overdosing of clove extract is not healthy for your body which i'm going to be discussing at the end of this video the fifth health benefit of cloves is that it helps to promote oral health i mean your aura your mouth health why remember at the beginning of this video i told you that clove has a lot of antimicrobial properties antibacterial anti-parasitic anti-candidal anti-fungal by uh, properties so these properties help when it comes to the oral health of an individual so if you are not adding cloves to your diet you are not adding cloves to your food i think this is high time for you to add cloves to your food because of this anti microbial property in promoting oral health then i take source to the sixth point i want to share with you and that is cloves helps to regulate your blood sugar level calm down when i say cloves helps with diabetes it helps with your sugar level that doesn't mean you should go out there and start taking cloves if you are taking cloves and you are taking your insulin you are taking your tablet that can actually drop your sugar level drastically and it can lead to hypoglycemia which is low sugar level and if this cloves is taken in high quantity in excess it can lead to low sugar level when you have diabetes i'm not saying go out there and start taking clothes if you have diabetes you have high sugar level speak with your doctor for proper intervention and useful guidance then that takes us to the seventh point i want to share with you today the seventh health benefit of clothes is that it may help to promote bone health yes there's something we call low bone mass Low bone mass is a condition that is estimated to have affected 43 million older adults in the USA alone. And this low bone mass can lead to the development of osteoporosis. And what this osteoporosis does is that it puts your bones at risk for fracture in the sense that they can easily break. Remember at the beginning of this video, I talked about one of the health benefits of cloves and that is its nutrients. It contains manganese. So this manganese that cloves contains helps with bone development and bone strength. So you can see outside the normal aroma and flavor that you get from cloves, it is also important when it comes to bone development or bone health. Now that takes us to the other point, which is the eight point. The eight point is that Cloves may help to reduce stomach ulcer. Some of the research work that have been done said that cloves could help to reduce stomach ulcer. Let me go into details in this things. They are mostly caused, that ulcer generally are mostly caused by reduction in the protective lining of the stomach, which are due to factors like stress, infection, and genetics. In one animal study, essential oil found from clothes was shown to increase the production of gastric mucus. So they have shown that cloves could help to reduce stomach ulcer. The last point, which is a nice point I have to share with you, is that cloves may help improve your liver health. Let me explain in details. One animal study fed rats with fatty mixtures containing either cloves or eugenol. Both mixtures improved liver function, reduced inflammation, and decreased oxidative stress. Another animal study showed that the eugenol found in cloves helped reverse the sign of river cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis. It helps to reverse those signs and symptoms that they see in liver cirrhosis. You can see cloves also has a benefit when it comes to the liver. But now, before I go, I want to tell you what is very important. Most of these studies that we have done, high concentration of cloves were used. And high concentration of clothes might lead to toxicity, might lead to liver damage, might lead to issues of the liver. So what I advise is that you can add cloves to your diets. You can add cloves to your food when preparing them as spices because of its health benefit. But taking cloves in high concentration, in high quantity can do more harm than good.
You get for those taking cloves water for those taking um using cloves to wash the vagina personally i don't advise that because you don't know the amount of cloves that is going into your system you cannot measure it you can't measure the amount that is going to cause toxicity to your body you get cloves is good yes it has a lot of benefits remember too much of everything is bad so when you keep taking this cloves water you keep taking this cloves you keep doing this you keep doing that that might cause toxicity in your body rather than carrying out these normal functions i just listed so it is important we take cloves as spices like add it to our diet need to amount but not in high doses not in high concentration doses because that can lead to more harm than good yes cloves has a lot of benefits we just have to put at the back of your mind cloves toxicity if you're having any challenges you're having any difficulties when it comes to your health you are not sure of what to do it is advisable you speak with your doctor and get useful information this video is just explaining the health benefits of clubs all right so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not messy mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video